Hey, this is Riley. I just wanted to show you the finished product. This was uh, started off as a 1981 WW two horse trailer. It was like a white color, it was beat up. Um, this is what it looked like before. And then this is what it looks like now afterwards. Um, there's quite a few modifications. Of course, uh, you know, had it blasted uh, down to bare metal, primed, painted with flat black. That's what the customer wants is a flat black. This is going to be a drive through coffee shop uh, located in Grove, Oklahoma. And so I've got the uh, diamond tread uh, aluminum wrapped all the way around the front, uh, refreshed all the factory aluminum trim, also cut out the divider between uh, this front window and made it one big wraparound window. Um, all new uh, butterfly vents, um, brand new hubs, brand new wheels and tires, brand new lighting, uh, LED lighting, and then of course all the modifications you see. This awning, uh, this is, oh this is also a uh, natural redwood stain uh, that we got here. It's like, it's a deck stain, so it's meant to take the elements. And uh, the awning, uh, added that on, it's got a nice tongue and groove uh, awning to match the uh, the walls and the bar got a 2 by 12 and this this door actually slides open I'll open it when we go inside let me take you all the way around there's the rear doors the lights this side has a lot of lattice work as you can see uh, to support I just really think it brings it out to the black with the uh, redwood of course got the stainless wheel covers those things are awesome they just really make every trailer pop that I put them on um, inside let's take a look inside right quick now inside here you can see the doors. This is mainly the door that's going to be open and used for entry and exit because we have this serving table on this side. Inside you can see also the ceiling. I tend to refer to it as a as a barreled ceiling just because it kind of looks like uh, staves of a barrel wrapped around there with the curve. This is a prep area where they'll be doing all their coffee stuff. Then there's a storage area up here, a shelf that I added. There's your wraparound window. Uh, put this aluminum trim on here to finish out this inside. Got this nice storage area there. Here is the sliding. Sliding serving window for the drive up. This right here, you pop that open and actually slide that open as well and that lets you access that storage area in the front or you can access it by that door on the side. So this is really, I'm really proud of this build. It's just a really cool build. I'll show you what that looks like on the outside now with that serving window. See that? You can put you can put a, a menu board, you know, probably either there or there, maybe even mount to the back so as people drive up, they could see what to order. But you can also access that storage area, uh, which was formerly the tack room. So, pretty cool deal. Uh, real proud of this build. Like I said, it's going to Grove, Oklahoma to be a drive through coffee shop. So, I'm going to meet them tomorrow. This is a, it was a, Definitely stretch the imagination as far as I'm used to building ones with a door that flips open in all my previous builds and this one took a lot of outside the box thinking to think about how to do and how to make and create those sliding doors uh, and the awning was a, was a new one to me. But we made it happen 
and it really 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 pops and I think the new owners are gonna be very very excited about it which I already know they are because I've been texting them pictures the whole time so anyway uh, this carriage house trailers if you want to order one you can go to carriagehousetrailers.com and fill out the information request and I uh, hope you have a blessed day